TFL EV is brought to you by Flow Charger, maker of reliable, high quality charging stations for your electric vehicle. Hey everybody, welcome to a really special video because you join me here on a cold, chilly Colorado Monday morning and we are about to embark on a fun EV adventure. You see, this week I'm going to daily drive the cheapest new electric car. You can buy the Chevrolet Bolt that we just purchased, but I'm only going to charge it using a level one charger. So here at our house, we have a level two charger installed, it's back there on the wall. But a lot of folks are worried about upgrading to level two, a lot of folks are worried about the cost associated with that, but a lot of folks are also interested in buying electric cars. Well, can you do your daily or weekly driving by just charging your car up off of 120 volts? We're going old school, and this entire week, I'm gonna do nothing but charge the Chevrolet Bolt on level one. So I'm uh, gonna reset the trip and then head out to work. Right, now the whole premise of this video is to see if it's possible to daily drive and live with an EV if you only have access to 120 volts. Now, um, at my house, we've had that 240 volt charger installed for several years now, and it has been so unbelievably flawless and easy. Um, that, I mean, it's just incredible. And I strongly recommend <laughs> if you do have an EV and you have access to a garage or you do have access to a 240 volt um, outlet to charge using that way. But I do understand that a lot of folks are renting, right? Uh, maybe they've got a 110 in the garage. A lot of folks live in a condo or an apartment, right? And they don't have access to a 240, but they can just plug into a random uh, level one, uh, wherever it may be in their garage. Well, that's what we're testing to uh, today and this week. Now we just left my favorite bagel shop, Moe's Bagels, here in Boulder, Colorado. And it's been kind of like a little vlog this week to see how we're doing. Now, I did charge the car up to 95% um, last night, so we are starting with a nearly full charge here. traction control off um the best way to launch this bolt is just like the corvette actually they both launch really well just plant it and hold on all right brendan count this down from three whenever you're ready we're gonna run this quarter mile come on bolt all right three two one go here we go oh pretty even launch oh he got a slightly better start but right around 30 miles an hour oh yeah nice start this corvette's got a lot of traction but i'm not i'm not really losing them that's when all the torque kicks in on the chevrolet oh we have to shift i made up a little bit of time i can't shake him he's still behind me but not by much 6.30 p.m. and the day is over. Absolutely crazy day. Has to drive from Boulder up to Fort Collins, which is like 50 miles away, and do three different drag races. I did a quick little mini drag race with the Bolt against the Corvette C5 generation, 1999. That was pretty fun, actually. Super close race. Um, so I did like two quarter miles on the Bolt. Not that that's gonna change the battery percentage that much, but uh, it's just a really long day, and I'm about to head home, so I'm curious to see how much charge is on the venerable Chevrolet Bolt. So let's go check it out. Love having keyless entry, by the way, even at this entry level $27,000 price in a bit. All right, so we're gonna start up the Bolt. And as you can see, we are sitting right at about 50% state of charge, 128 miles remaining on this charge. And we've driven 112 miles today, averaging four miles per kilowatt hour. So I'm gonna drive another, what is that? Seven miles home and plug it in on level one. And we're about to see uh, how much charge we can add in the next uh, number of hours. Right, well, we made it home and here we see uh, my dog Blaze. Very excited that I'm home. Hi bud, how was your day? <laughs> Did you have a good day? Oh, such a good boy. All right, now let's plug the car in as you might when you get home in the evening. No, Blaze, no, no, we're not going. <laughs> we're not going anywhere. Come on, but nobody. Come on, Blaze. Stay up. There you go. Good boy. So let's see what we're sitting at. Right now, we are sitting at 113 miles of estimated range. And we're going to go ahead and start the car up and see the total mileage driven so far. 118.1, and the car is estimating 45%. 
This, by the way, is my least favorite part of the bolt. I wish that they gave you the ability to see the exact state of charge. So they give you these little bars there, and then you also have these little bars here in the energy screen where you can kind of calculate it out. But it'd be so much better if they just gave you that exact number. I know on the Chevrolet app you can see it, but just tell me that number there, how great would that would be. But anyways, a roughly 45% state of charge, 113 miles driven. So now let's get the level one cable out. Now this car did come included with the level one cable. Isn't that right, Blaze? And I haven't actually taken much of a look at it, to be completely honest with you. I think it's back here. No, yeah, there it is. Let's see what it looks like. Man, Blaze thinks he's just going, going in the car. Blaze loves the car, don't you, buddy? Oh yeah. Sorry, bud, we're not going anywhere. All right. So, looks to be just kind of your standard cable. Oh man, is that a zip tie? Shoot, I'm gonna have to cut here. Hang on, let me cut that zip tie. All right, well, the zip tie is cut, and I think we are ready to try plugging this in. So here's just my standard outlet, level one, located here in my garage. And let's just get that plugged in like so. All right, got a couple lights there. Now let's check out the rating on this connector. 120 volts, 12 amps. 1,440 watts. Now, interestingly enough, the car actually has a couple of settings on the screen, which we can adjust depending on where you're plugging in. So let's go ahead and boot the car up here. And in the main screen, you can actually set not only the charging limit on how high state of charge you want your car to go to, but also the amps that the car will draw. We can never let the screen boot up. There we go. Charging. Level one cord limit. Now we have a choice. Uh, first of all, I gotta read the warning uh, of reduced at eight amps or maximum of 12 amps. Now our circuit should have the juice to give us the full 12. So we're gonna go 12 amp there. We're gonna set the charging max to 95%. Although I don't think we're gonna hit that 95% uh, by the end of the night, or actually I should say by the start of the morning when I have to go to work. Now, I do, I, I don't hate the charge port location on this bolt front left corner. I actually prefer the leaf where it's in the nose. I just find that allows a lot of flexibility. Front left corner is kind of limited to stations on the uh, front left side of the car, obviously, but check this out. There's lots and lots of length on this included uh, charge cable. Although I will say it's a pretty weeny little wire here. That is, that's not much compared to the level two connector that we have right here. Check that out. It's a pretty su substantial gauge difference there. And this connector does feel pretty uh, pretty cheap and flimsy, um, but it's just your, your level one cable. So, okay, we're gonna plug the car in just like that. We're gonna wait for the green light. Okay, well, we are officially charging, but let's see what the car is predicting. It says, charging completed by 12 a.m. Wednesday, 12.15 a.m. Wednesday. Wow, okay, and it's currently, what time is it now? 6.47 p.m. on a Monday. Now, I do think that I have to do some other things tonight. I'm gonna have to take the little floof for a walk, and then I'm gonna try to go to the gym, and I'm gonna rely solely on this car, solely on level one charging to get me there. Um, so let me do my chores, walk the dog, figure out dinner, and then we'll go to the gym and see, uh, see how much juice we can suck up in the time I'm doing my chores. All right, well, we've been plugged in to the level one outlet for the last hour and 10 minutes. I walked the dog, I got dinner taken care of, had some pretty tasty pizza, and let's see where we're sitting state of charge wise. So fire up the car here. Now we plugged in with 113 miles according to the car an hour ago and now we are at 118, about 50%. <laughs> it's actually a better result. Here, let me turn on the light. It's actually a better result than I was expecting. So roughly five miles of range gained in an hour and 10 minutes. I was expecting two, three. So um, unfortunately I gotta go to the gym now. So it's gonna take down the range from a 118 to probably 109 and then we'll plug it back in. I'm gonna try to get a good night's sleep and when we come back in the morning, we'll see what we're at.
right, well I'm back from the gym and the final tally for the day, 128 miles driven, 3.8 miles per kilowatt hour, and we're reading right about 45% state of charge, 105 miles remaining. So uh, only one thing to do, plug in and then go to bed. It's currently 9.54 p.m., so just about 10 p.m. I'm gonna get up tomorrow about 6 a.m. or so and we'll see uh, how much we gained in those eight hours. This puppy keeps resetting to eight amps on the level one. So here I'm gonna go to 12. There we go. All right, well, it's the next morning now. I did sleep in. <laughs> A little bit I was really tired so it's currently 7 38 in the morning I plugged this car in at 10 p.m. let's see what we're sitting at all right here we go let's see how we're doing plugged in all night we are sitting at 149 miles plugged it in with 105 last night so we gained uh, <laughs> 44 miles overnight almost 45 miles currently sitting at 60% state of charge not not all that impressive uh but gotta go to work gotta go do some things today so i'm gonna have to unplug and then um fill you in a little bit later all right well it's been another great day here at the office did some videos today but um i didn't drive the bolt that much because i just didn't have to because uh the office is I don't know, seven, eight miles from my house. Now, this is a pretty typical day, actually. Oftentimes, I just get to work, do my thing, and then go home. So let's see what we're sitting state of charge-wise. Okay, hopping in the vehicle. Let's go ahead and start her up. And we are at 149. And still at that 60%, we're at 133 and a half miles driven in total. So we've put, what, seven, eight miles on today? Now you're probably thinking that's not a lot of driving, but keep in mind a lot of people's commutes aren't that far, five, 10 miles. So uh, yesterday was a big driving day. Today was rather light. We'll see how tomorrow is. I'm gonna go home and plug this puppy in. All right, well, good morning. The start of day three. So it is Wednesday morning and well, we got quite the snowstorm actually. We got this really thick, wet, heavy snow and most folks in the snow are gonna be working from home. Um, I gotta go take the bolt and do a quick bolt in the snow video, which I'll uh, insert some clips here in a sec, but let's see where we're sitting at, state of charge wise, at the start of day three. Now, after I came home from work yesterday, my dad took the bolt and took it to go drop off his dry cleaning, and in total, we drove 25 miles yesterday. Plugged it in with somewhere around 50% state of charge, and let's see where we're sitting at this morning. Now, it's been charging for a good, 13 hours or so. Go ahead and start the vehicle up here. And let's see where we're at. So it's displaying 160 miles of projected range and the state of charge, I zoom in here, right around 65% state of charge. So we are not quite up to the 95% that we started with on Monday but we are maintaining a good solid buffer in that battery. Now you can see since Monday, we have driven a total of 151.8 miles. I reset that Monday morning. And today, like I said, most folks are gonna be working from home. I gotta do the snow video, but I don't think we're gonna take the bolt into work because of the conditions. So we're only gonna put on a couple miles today, and then I'm gonna come back and plug it in once I'm done shooting this video this morning. So let's get to that video and then we'll plug her back in. Another day, another charging update in the Chevrolet Bolt, and let's see what we're sitting at. Now, yesterday was a super snowy day, so it didn't get driven that much as you might expect on a snow day. Most businesses uh, were closed up, but let's see what the Chevrolet Bolt is sitting at. We did do a little bit of driving. We did some testing in the snow, and then we also did uh, a little trip to Walgreens. So we drove, oh, what's that? 
10 miles or so yesterday, 11 miles, and check that out. We are almost full. That is awesome. I think we're pretty much charged up to that 95% that was our goal. Here, let me see if uh, the vehicle has any. Okay, well, it says it'll be done by 3.30 p.m. today, but it's, it's basically at what, 90% state of charge? And keep in mind, that was charging at 8 amps yesterday because I had to charge up the uh, electric snow blower and I didn't want to blow um, that, that circuit breaker. So, granted, it did charge most of the day yesterday and it was charging all night last night, but still, um, Thursday morning, woke up with basically a full charge. Car is predicting over 200 miles on this charge. So I should get a good amount of driving done today and uh, we'll update you this afternoon. All right, well, it's the end of another busy day here uh, in the life of the Chevy Bolt. And let's take a look at some of the data and see how far we went today. So today we had to drive the Bolt back to the Chevy dealer because they messed up the paperwork, had to sign some new paperwork, and then um, took it to lunch, took it to work, and we're currently sitting at 250 miles. So we drove some 90 miles today. State of charge right now, roughly 45%. We started with what, 85, 90%, something like that. So we used about half the battery doing that trip. Now let's talk about some of the takeaways because I have to go to the airport tomorrow and I will not be driving the Bolt. Um, but I think over the last four days or so, we learned some valuable lessons in the past 250 plus miles. Now, here's my big takeaway. If you have a Chevy Bolt and you drive roughly 40 miles or so on a daily basis, the level one connector should be enough to keep you at least, um, you know, maintaining a certain state of charge. It's, uh, it's very, very acceptable as long as you have a place to plug it in for a good long night. Now, if you're driving more than 40, 50 miles a day, well, you're better off just going to a level two unit. And let's take a look at some of the different charge time differences. So I just plugged it in on level one. Uh, we're pulling the full 12 amps here. And let's see, how long will it take till full? 3.15 a.m. on Saturday. Let's unplug the level one, and let's go ahead and plug in our 40 amp level two. Now keep in mind, this car will actually accept up to 48 amps, a full 11 and a half kilowatts, but keep that time in mind. And then we're gonna see how this level two compares. Oh, it's stuck on the lawnmower. There we go. So 40 amp level two plugged in there. <laughs> Complete 1.15 a.m. Friday, so that's in just a few hours from now. So uh, my big takeaway with this car is, yes, if you are driving 40 miles or less on a daily basis, which is still like some 14,000 miles a year if you were to drive that um, every day, you probably could get by on level one with the occasional DC fast charge just to top you up. But if you have the means and the place to install a NEMA 1450 connector like this and even a standard wall box, you're gonna be much happier. Uh, it just takes a lot of the stress out of it and makes it so much more easy and convenient to keep your car topped up. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. A big thank you uh, <laughs> for, joining me, for joining me in this vlog, this weekly vlog, and we'll see you on the next one.